Hey everyone, I've got another trailer reaction for you guys and it is for the Insidious The Last Key movie and this is the fourth installment in the Insidious franchise and while I can say that I enjoyed the first couple of Insidious movies then I felt like the last movie just didn't quite do it for me so I don't know how excited I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. As much as I'd like to say that I enjoy watching horror films, I'm kind of concerned about the outcome of this movie, but uh, we'll see how everything goes. So without any further ado, let's roll this trailer. That's kind of freaky. People who need help with matters that can't be explained, come to me. These hauntings can be terrifying things. I should know. I've faced many evils in my life. This was different, though. The haunted house. And maybe stop these movies from being made, perhaps? I, this evil. I need to go deeper into the further. I don't have memories from this place. I have scars. Mm. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what are we at? There's someone right in front of you. I don't think I'm even. Be careful. You're going to touch it. <laughs> mm. So there is obviously a good reason why this movie got pushed to January of next year. Probably because it will suck. But who knows? I, you know, obviously, I don't know why the heck I was laughing while watching this trailer when I should probably be scared, but it, it really honestly just looks like a bunch of cheese that I've seen before and you know, quite frankly, I I hope this at least is the final Insidious movie. I mean, it's kind of hinting that they really want to put an end to whatever this curse is, uh, considering the lead in this movie has been in all those other previous Insidious movies. And I can't quite tell if this is supposed to be the second prequel or it's supposed to be a sequel. But either way, you know, some parts do kind of look creepy. Some parts, you know, look like they could make me jump, especially if I see this at the movie theater. But uh, I just feel like it's stuff that, you know, I'm so used to seeing horror movies that I just, I can pick out any uh, jump scare that could possibly happen. But... Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's going to make or break my enjoyment of the film, but I'll still check it out because I've seen all the other previous Insidious movies, so why let this one just uh, not 
ever be watched. And, you know, it's just another franchise that I, I don't know how much longer they can just stretch out these storylines and put in these uh, ridiculous situations and have these creepy people pop out. We don't even know who they are or why they're there in the first place. So we'll see the true meaning of what this whole key is, unless it's the key to the door that goes to the further or whatever that place is. So who knows if it's also the key to ending this franchise for good. The good thing though is that this movie is being directed by uh, Ab Adam Robitaille and he did one of my favorite horror movies, uh, The Taking of Deborah Logan, and I thought that, that was a very underrated film because it actually scared me, so who knows? If that movie scared me, this movie might scare me equally, uh, but considering the track record of some of the previous Insidious movies, who knows if uh, that will all fade away. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Insidious The Last Key trailer and if you're looking forward to seeing this movie and if you have been a fan of the previous three Insidious films. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, coming every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.